This is apparently a true story. This actually happened. Someone that I know that knows someone works at a retail store and this extremely haughty woman with a very high opinion of herself waltzes in going, I'll buy those sunglasses and mm, shoes, I love them. She walks up to the counter, no one asks her and she says, oh, by the way, I'm the deputy editor of Pedestrian. To which the response of the cashier was, oh yeah, I know about your organization from Friendly Geordie's videos. <laughs> to which her response was, nothing, except apparently to go white with rage, drop the shoes and sunglasses on the counter, and walk out without saying anything. Mission accomplished. Thank God that that is their response. So happy with that. Make sure that you write under every one of their posts, you are owned by Peter Costello because it makes them so angry that they walk out without buying things that they actually wanted. If that's not a win, I don't know what is. Anyway, this entire video is about paying out blue checks. Like in advance. Ah, Twitter. We're the scummiest of the private school elite that weren't popular at private school congregate for immediate validation every second of the day, but ironically feel worse with every passing second. You know, just after we filmed that hack video, we thought, hey, let's have a look around and see if anyone from hack has actually commented on us, to which my editor said, no need, someone's already sent me some messages. Somehow they were able to crack their incredible Germany World War II level code of Guys, don't you understand? I am more likely to retweet you if you do your little asterisk code because I just think it's hilarious that A, you think it's intelligent B, you keep doing it even though we keep calling it out over and over again C, I know you're shit scared of being retweeted Apparently when Facebook banned all the news organizations in this country, Ivani had a tantrum because she was deprived of some dopamine claiming that it was disgraceful that I still had a platform. Quote, It's disgraceful that every legitimate news organization is off Facebook as well as the satire ones, but is still up. Ooh, four ellipses, she means business. Also, legitimate news. Keep talking, liberal hack. Ivani, just so I can explain to you how annoying your existence is to the average Australian, I'm going to use your only point of reference, which is yourself. Let's just reverse the roles for a second. Just imagine how pissed off you are that I exist, right? Here's the difference between you and I. You don't have to pay for my existence. I'm guessing you're not a Patreon, right? But I am forced to be a patron of you. Don't you think that's a little more, quote, disgraceful that I have to pay for the legitimate news organization that you are that never shuts the f up about crystal dildos and AI boyfriends when I don't want to listen to that shit? How annoyed would you be if I worked at the ABC? You'd be sitting there thinking every night, oh my God, he's not talking about crystal dildos or AI boyfriends again. Shut up about water corruption. Just use your government job to buy some. So I tweeted words to those effect, knowing that words to those effect really trigger ABC journos, we Avani, I pay your salary, don't be so disrespectful. Because you see how this works, Avani? I pay for you, I think you're doing a shit service, I can say whatever I like to you. Shut the f*** up. Man, did that poke the beehive, and I do use the metaphor of a beehive very intentionally, is look at all these blue checks saying, HOW DARE HE RESPOND MEANLY TO A MEAN TWEET! That is their logic, I'm telling you, I've pointed it out before with the journalists of Crikey, they are the kids at school that punch you, so you kick them. Yes! John had responded to a tweet I texted and he's better than I was. Deplatform him! Don't you get these mighty mainstream journalist logic? They went to university to be mean to people, so they're allowed to ruin whose ever's life they like, but as soon as you start putting shit on them, all of a sudden, you're a disgrace. Don't be so disrespectful. That was her response. At first complaining that she didn't have a platform, mind you. Now she's complaining that she does have a platform because now racist and sexist and abusive trolls can go after her. Because she's so brave for daring to take our money and make shit content. It's amazing. The script never changes. You couldn't be criticizing them for any other reason than they're a woman or they're a different skin color. How else could you possibly criticize me? I'm perfect. It's incredible. These are the people that we pay to inform and expand our minds, but every time they get the slightest bit of criticism, hmm, which one is this person? Are they a racist or a sexist? Hey, why don't I use that shit tweet meme? 
How about we just settle at this? You can still leech money off me, just let that meme die. Didn't say anything remotely related to race. I just asked you not to be so disrespectful and- Oh no, wait, wait. Another blue check is weighing in. Now this is very rare. According to Ket and Joshi, it's racist to ask someone to not be disrespectful. The single most reliable indicator of genuine nastiness is someone who finds someone with a government salary and demands he be respected. Absolutely the consistent marker of some red-faced, ultra-stressed, hypersensitive political dude. And usually targeting non-white people. They have no argument. Ever. They just sit there, probably thinking about it for an hour before posting. Um. Uh, it's cause I'm Desi, right? Oh my god, you're right! I've never seen it before! It's not because you're writing dumb shit about me on Twitter that I'm responding, it's because I hate Desis! Hang on, just a second. Hey Ali, one of my best friends on Earth, you're fired. Why? Because you're brown. Thanks, Hack. Hello, Neil Cole Hatcar, one of my other best friends. Podcasts off, you P-O-C-S-O-B. Mm. Now to prove their other point right. Coming up next on Friendly Geordies, bitches. What's up with that? Probably time those of us able to cop a pylon stop using the name search workaround and start telling him directly that doing search and destroy a great journalist is disgusting and pathetic. Damn, are you guys really that scared of me? It's like I'm the candy man. You say my name three times and no, friendly Johnny. <laughs> I'm Cartman, but less fat, dude. Why are you so scared of someone saying, Ah! Respect my authority! Why do you take Twitter so seriously? I can stand the pylon! So can I, dude. It's called logging off, you addict. It's the worst platform. Granted, it's because it's the platform that you're most vocal on. And the reason you are is because I can't put any effort into anything that actually makes me use my brain. I'm just gonna repeat racist over and over again, and I might get a couple more likes. It's not like real life. It's not like like you're this narcissistic in the real world that you'll walk into a store and say, I'm the editor of Pedestrian and oh wait, no, you people are exactly like that. Uh, maybe you should just stop being so self-absorbed and actually think about any substantive issues whatsoever. That might be a suggestion. That being said, I'm not saying anything of remote substance in this episode. This one is, as my own audience says, low hanging fruit. Think about that. People outside your self felatiating Twitter bubble care so little about you that they refer to you as low hanging fruit. That must really smart for people that bring themselves up in tweets so much and say you have no idea what a victim I am. Someone wrote, I really like him. Keaton's response Christ, how are you finding this? Did he send send out the incel signal or something? You can see why you're a paid journalist dude. The thing is you're not offending me by saying I'm nasty I know it and I wear it proudly. It is pathetic that you are so unself aware that you respond like that and think I I'm the nicest person who has ever existed. Oh, what's this? Someone said I really like him. I've got a great comeback, you ready? <laughs> you don't have sex. <laughs> Asking to be, quote, respected might be the single greatest indicator of genuine nastiness. But I'll tell you what is the single greatest indicator of genuine c***ness. How many tweets you do in a day? Look, Kenton, 167,000 tweets. Holy shit. And he thinks the reason he gets fired from jobs is because of his race. He doesn't have time to do it. Anyway, nice guy, check. Kevin Rudd shares one of my videos, and you know how they're always going on about how much they hate snitches? Well, Asher Wolf, proud member of the AUWU, writes, Ableist video made by a noted misogynist and racist creep. Gross. That gross being written by this woman. How many tweets does she have? Whoa, a whopping 746,000 tweets. No wonder she can't find a job. <laughs> ah, yes, Dr. Nobody, a troll AUWU account, and I am his red skull in life, if you will, as he writes Friendly Geordie, she's a proto fascist. Oh, okay, using those words. Well, as we all know, anyone that uses words like proto fascist is a political genius. His early fan worship of Jordan Peterson makes him vulnerable to that ideology. It's amazing. Anybody that has daddy issues really hates Jordan Peterson, but also, if you're gonna bag me for liking proto 
problematic self-help gurus. Guys, get it right. Tony Robbins! Read it and you won't be on Twitter as much. His worship of Roman militaristic virtues of purity and discipline. Dude, the reason you are with the AUWU is not because the system is holding you down from getting a job. It's because you think discipline is a bad thing. Somebody stop him! He's reminding people that having a work ethic is a good thing! Why can't he worship the Roman fat noodly aristocracy that sat around and got their version of Uber Eats, i.e. slaves putting food in their mouth just like I get it from Uber Eats today? Let's be honest, the reason that you hate me is because I'm from a public school and you're from a private school. And, to be fair to people that went to private schools, a lot of them are legends. But that's because they're legends. There is nothing more infuriating than someone who was a loser at a private school because that is a pure drain on society. They were born to rule, but they're just not good enough to rule, you know? Yeah, I'm looking at you, Avadi, from George's River Grammar. Let's dissect, really, the psychology of these people. It is pure entitlement. Their entire life, they've gotten whatever they want, except for the results that they wanted out of life. And they're really angry when anyone points out, hey, you're falling short here, to which their response will always inevitably be, um, how can I turn myself into a victim despite my superior education? Um, um, uh, you hate me because I'm Indian, that's right. Make sure you like if you're interested in us further delving into the people that you entrust to give you your news and if you have any other amazing blue check comments. I don't really want it about me. I want to actually start defending other people online that are actually helping society. So if you find any blue check wonders, send them through. We're going to put them back on their best behavior because remember, you're a public servant. You are supposed to be serving us, the public. I know you weren't taught that at your private school, but that's the way it is. Sorry. Please share and comment below. Come in.